Jeff Rowe from Two Hacks Garage. Back up at Kyle's Hack Shack. In the last video, you saw us. We got the short block built for this 455. Uh, this is the engine that came out of the Big Green Machine 1968 GTO. However, we're not putting this one back in there because we're going to go with a 400 supercharged engine. Um, in these video series, we've been doing our due diligence of checking all the clearances on this engine. That's going to determine for the next person how they can actually build this motor, whether they can add power adders to it, nitrous oxide, all that fun jazz. A lot of that stuff comes into play is compression. And one of the things that comes into play with compression and figuring out your overall CCs of your chamber, how thick of a gasket you need, is the actual deck height um, comparison to the pistons. So in this video, I'm going to show you on how to use a ProForm deck height tool to measure how far the cylinder is down the hole. Some cases it's in the hole, some cases it's zero deck, and some cases, like my Ford, it's out of the hole. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to use that tool and see what numbers we come up with. All right, so first off, before we do anything, um, you want to make sure your deck is clean. Uh, Kyle and I went and took a rag with some brake clean, and we went ahead and made sure all this was clean. So the tool we're working with is from ProForm, and you have your dial indicator, and you have a deck bridge. This deck bridge is made out of aluminum, and it is magnetic here, so it'll stick. And the one cool thing about this is you can get, we're going to go off the center of the piston because this is pretty much a flat top design with valve reliefs. However, if you really wanted to, you can take a dial indicator here and it's got holes on the outsides where you can measure on the outside of the piston. But for this demonstrative purpose, we're going to actually show you how to go off the center of the piston. So first off, you want to make sure you loosen the dial indicator and you're going to find a center point, which is going to be right here on the in between those cylinders and you're going to put that down and what you're going to want to do so i'm going to face that that way is you're going to want to zero this out because that's going to be your point where it's zeroed so that's what i'm going to do is i'm going to go in there and find the zero i'm going to put it on there and i'm going to lock that down so the next step what i'm going to do is i'm going to place this over the center of the piston get that in place like i said you got to make sure that's clean and what Kyle is going to do is he's going to rock that, or he's going to turn the engine over. And what we're going to do is, this is also finding, I guess if you want to say top dead center. So he's going to go around. And when it goes to stop up oh, there, we keep going. And he's coming up. All right. So you're going to go to a point. He's going to go back a little bit. Okay, keep going. It looks like it stopped about right there. So he's going to go back with it. We're going to just get our absolute spot on that. I think that might be it. So right there, so what that's showing us is five thousandths out of the hole. You got one, two, three, four, five. If it was under, that would show you how far down in the hole. If it was on zero, that would be zero decked. So that piston right there is actually five thousandths out of the hole. And where that's going to come into importance is figuring out your overall CC of the head with the gasket in place and how far this is down there. That's all that technical race math. But this is also going to come into play now of what kind of gasket is going to be used. So yeah, that's just a quick video on how to use the ProForm deck bridge tool to measure your piston to deck height. In this case, well, we're just a little bit out of the hole, nothing to be worried about. So what we're going to do is that we're going to go through and we're going to check all eight pistons just to see if everything is within spec, make sure they're all right. So there you have it guys, pretty simple to do. Just take your time. Again, it's a quality tool, I really like it. Like I said, there's different ways to use this. We showed you the method on how to go off the center of the piston on that. Um, I'm gonna put a link in, to, in the description to this tool. Um, I find it extremely handy. I know Kyle and I, when we're building an engine, we like to know all the different clearances so we know what's gonna be able to be happening with this engine. So as you saw in this video, these were about five thousandths out of the hole. So that's gonna come into play when you're choosing a head gasket. So yeah, 
That's how you measure your piston deck height. Um, it is important in engine building, especially if you do plan on doing something high performance, nitrous, boost, all that type of fun jazz. But yeah, Proform makes the tool. It's affordable. It's accurate. It's actually fun to use. It's more of that race math. So there's going to be more to come on that. With that, hope you enjoyed it. 2X Garage. Have a good one.